It's all in the name at Plant Pub, a plant-based restaurant in Cambridge's Kendall Square, with a wide selection of vegan beer and wine on the menu. The idea behind Plant Pub is to make plant-based food accessible to everybody, to make it comfortable, to make it social, to make it a real environment that everyone wants to hang out in. Named Best New Chef by Food & Wine in 2006, Mary Dumont is a seasoned veteran of the kitchen who decided a few years ago to change what she was cooking both for herself and others. I was always really a big proponent of farm to table and sustainability and everything was really vegetable focused. The meat was really just a complimentary part of what I was doing. The journey to doing something, a concept that's completely vegetable based, was just really another step in the direction of me really wanting to promote sustainability and things that are good for the earth and good for the environment. It's a concept she and her business partner, Pat McCauley, truly believe in. I think some people think that plant-based is faddish a little bit, but it really isn't. It's really just a, an actual conscious lifestyle choice that I've made um, to be a more conscientious person in the world. A choice that, in Mary's opinion, does not involve giving up menu mainstays. We serve about five different kinds of pizzas, from pepperoni to buffalo chicken to just a plain margarita. Made with organic dough, the Neapolitan-style pies offer a thin crust with crispy edges. We have a partnership with a vegan creamery in Brooklyn called New Moo Cheese, and it's really the best vegan mozzarella cheese that I've ever had. I think it surprises people that it is vegan. It just has that cheesiness to it, and it's gooey and awesome. Awesome. In addition to the pizzas, there's buffalo cauliflower bites, ramen, and burgers. Our target crowd are not necessarily the vegans because the vegans are going to come here. It's more of everybody else. That's our goal. That's why we're serving food that you recognize. To drink, there's vegan red, white, and rosé wines, and craft beers with and without alcohol. It's really super refreshing for me to watch people just be exuberant and happy. It's really a joy to watch people walk out of here with those kinds of expressions on their faces. To be quite honest, I'm having way more fun doing this than I ever did doing anything else in my life. <laughs>is big on flavor. I really wanted to do vegan food that put an emphasis on vegetables. After working in several prominent Boston kitchens, Chef Graham Boswell decided to venture out on his own with a series of plant-based pop-ups. It was an opportunity for me to explore cooking my own food in kind of a low-stakes way. After a couple years, Boswell decided to put down some roots in Somerville's Union Square. When I saw it, I thought, my goodness, this is a huge, fantastic kitchen. <laughs> with this really quirky garage component. And there was an opportunity to test the concept by installing this takeout counter, opening up our takeout service, and seeing how the neighborhood enjoyed it. Neighbors and visitors enjoyed it very much. So much so that Boswell and his team added a pandemic-inspired meal delivery service as well. We really give you everything ready to go, pop in your oven. I've been vegan since I was 14, and I went vegan not so much because I'm an animal lover, more so because I'm a food lover, and uh, food's really important to me. That love for food is palatable in every savory dish Little Berg serves. All the creamy sort of dairy replacements on our menu are made from almonds and other nuts as well. A hazelnut sauce is dolloped atop the pide, a Turkish-style flatbread stuffed with lentils and leeks. It is casual weeknight food, super flavorful and a little bit more sophisticated than what you would cook for yourself at home. The sandwiches are wrapped in a Greek pocketless pita. The hero is made with seitan, pickled onion, almond tzatziki, tomato, and fried potato. And the mushroom pita is filled with fried oyster mushrooms, pepper onion relish, and a garlic almond sauce. I don't think the food is being vegan anymore. I just think of it's our food and this is how we do it. The saffron rice is fried crispy on the bottom, spiced just right, and served with falafel, lemon tahini, and an herb salad. I don't think that our customers are mostly vegan. I think our customers are mostly into really delicious things. This is so special and we get to share it with people. Boswell is hoping eventually to renovate the garage space and open a sit-down restaurant there. And back to Plant Pub, Mary and her team are on track to open a second restaurant this year. The demand for plant-based options does seem to be growing. According to a 2020 Gallup poll, nearly one in four Americans reported eating less meat in the past year than they had eaten previously. Up next, a plant stampede.